Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am doing tonight a reading for the collective um, individuals who feel they are in a karmic relationship. This is for all signs. Um, I am also doing a reading for, excuse me, for twin flames, soulmates, and life partners. <coughs> excuse me. As well as singles. So if you're not sure what category you fall in, I suggest you watch them all and whichever reading resonates the most with your relationship you're currently facing, that is probably the one that you are in. This is for all signs. It doesn't matter what your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is. This is just if you feel you're in a karmic relationship. So Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for those in a karmic relationship currently? One card for advice, please. relationships okay passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so we'll put that up there okay so the top row will be person A's energy the bottom row will be uh, person B's energies and you just have to decide which which energy is yours and which is that of your karmic partner. If you are cross-watching, well, I would say that uh, the person that you are cross-watching for, it'll be quite clear what row they fall into. So, Spirit Angels, can I get the past energy up to the current time for... Okay. So this card fell out or came out twice. It actually popped while I was um, shuffling there twice. So for for some of you, if this is you, there is cause for celebration. You have found a uh, passionate new beginning with somebody. You feel like this person has been sent to you from the heavens um, it's right now they're swept off their feet if this is you you just feel like you are you're just so happy what is person B's current energy or past energy into the current in the karmic relationship this is also for the week of uh, May 9th through the 16th. Okay. So the other person... So in the past, there was a lot of celebration. There was a lot of happiness. There was a new beginning with this person. Um, for the karmic partner, they were uh, just getting out of an old relationship. Could have just left somebody and went right into this relationship. Uh, it was a relationship that ended not very good. It was, they, they felt like they were just battered and beaten down. What is the current energy of person A in the karmic relationship? Okay. So your current energy is the Knight of Wands. So this could mean a couple things. For one, you're not rushing in or out of anything. What is the current energy for person B? Um, for, for another group of you, you, the passion has stopped and you have stopped sleeping with this person way too many. For another group of you, you don't want just a fling. You want this person back. You want them to uh, come back to your life. But for the collective, for the majority of you, those of you in 
this karmic relationship. Uh, this is the lack of passion. You're currently not wanting to move forward with this person. Um, you could possibly not be sleeping with them anymore, but you guys are still together. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of cards for the second person. Uh, the second person has a choice to make. There's a choice that they are fa facing currently and they are kind of in a fog about it. They're very confused. They're not sure which direction to go. All they know is that they're tired of defending themselves. Um, they kind of feel like the world is against them and they're tired of trying to prove their worth to this Queen of Cups here in reverse. They're emotionally drained because they're constantly having to try to prove their worth. They're constantly trying to talk this person into how valuable they are to the relationship. And they are just, their emotions have run. Um, they're just e extremely and emotionally spent. And they're still confused at the end of all that anyways. Person A is uh, more than likely going to be moving in a direction away from this karmic partner very shortly um, because they are coming out of a period of feeling trapped by this person. And this that's why this person is very confused as well because they're not understanding why this person wants to go, why this person feels the way that they feel. And they're just, they're really emotionally drained trying to give this person all that they got trying to make them stay what is the hopes of person B way too many oh okay so for uh, some of you this the second the person that you are connecting with or vice versa they are keeping an eye on this person this person has really uh, cut off their emotions their passion they're not sleeping together anymore um, this person is fearing them moving forward with without them they feel like they haven't been successful at emotionally satisfying this person so now they are watching them from afar they could be going through your text messages your phone logs, they could be looking at your phone bill, they could be going through your emails. They are snooping on the partner, um, trying to see what's going on because this person is shut down. They're not talking to anybody. They're not talking to their partner and they're not talking to anybody in the future. Or not in the future, but in the current. Uh, they're just kind of shut off from the world. Um, just FYI, the bottom of the final deck on the Twin Flames was the King of Pentacles as well. But, um, yeah, this person is wanting to set out on their own. They're wanting to embark on their own path. Um, they feel they have learned the lessons that have needed to be learned within this relationship. They feel their, their karmic debt has been paid and they're ready to move forward. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, the other party, they are, they are being patient and in hopes of being patient, they're hoping that this person's going to come back. There could be a fire sign female that is, um, a factor somewhere in this relationship could be a, a third party or like a third party meddler, like a family member, but you, this person is concerned about this female talking this person into or encouraging this person to move forward single uh, but they're patiently waiting and hoping that this person is going to stick around I don't however feel that you're going to win this battle if you're this person I feel that your partner if you're in a karmic relationship is moving forward and the wheel of fortune is here as well so karmic debts are paid up 
and the wheel is turning and in that turn I feel that this person is going to get the new beginning the new start that they have hoped for what is the future energy for the week on out for the first person here oops Oh, wow, look at that. So this person's energy, I was just saying that they're going to be successful at moving forward and getting the new start that they want. And, and in this next week, this top person is going to find victory and getting a fresh start um, and moving away from this trapped energy and setting out on a new beginning, uh, whether it be alone or with a different person. I just... <clears throat> It's very clear that it will not be with this person. The first and last card is the opposites. What is the week's energy for the second person? From now until the week on out. Okay, that's way too many. Okay. Yeah, and they are, this person is going to um, come out of this state of confusion. They could be trying to manipulate this person into staying. That's all coming to an end because this person is going to be victorious and moving away. Now the card, your angel advice, 